Alrighty. Good morning, guys. Girls, Rob here. And uh, I got a couple of questions asked of me uh, during the night. And I wanted to answer them now. Well, eating pretzels. There we go. Still got a bunch more pretzels around here. I want to talk some more. Um, about left and right splits on the NPNG Plus. And let's just use, for example, Tony Sip. Okay, Tony Sip. And it says versus the righties, 42. Versus the lefties, 51. Okay. Now, um, what does that mean? That means anytime you're in the yellow, just in the yellow areas here, okay? You're in the yellow areas. If need be, you'll go to the lefty righty chart. One through uh, one through fourteen with bases empties. All, all you have to worry about is uh, six, six, eight, six, eight, and nine. So it can cut some doubles down. And cut singles down, but it, it can do it. Now Tony Sip is a reliever for good, good for three batters. Whether he walks them, whether he hits them, whether they get a hit, uh, whatever. Three batters doesn't count as at bat. So the first three people he faces after that. Then Tony Sip's numbers start going down. For instance, let's say a next batter, the fourth batter is a left-hander. Well, this is 51 right here. You can't get 50 on dice. So the next lowest you can go is 46. So you go from 51 down to 46. Next batter. If you keep Tony Sip in the game, he's going to go, he goes down one every time, whether it's righty or lefty. Uh, versus righty, he's a 42. So let's say you've faced three over over his limit. It's went 41, then 36, then 35. From 11 to whatever number he's good for, in the case of, you know, wondering if he gets a hit or not, the lower his number is, the worse it is. So if it starts working down, you know, it's a chance he's not going to, you know, the other person's not, you know, the, the, he's not going to get them out. Now, let's, let's say, for instance, both numbers are like 66. It's like unbelievable. There's nothing stopping the batter from getting a single, a double, a triple, or a home run. See, number 10, for instance, 10C, single to center, seven, single to right. Uh, six uh, C, six with asterisks, doubles. Uh, five, double, four, double, three, triple, two, triple, and number one, a home run. So there are plenty of chances to still get hits off that pitcher. They're saying the iffy, the iffy ones, the ones that, okay, they may hit it in the gap, but we think your defensive guy can catch the ball. Then they give give it a little bit more to the pitcher. Plus, if he's stronger against lefties than righties, doesn't matter if he's left-handed or not. Whatever the batting average is, they go along with that too as to say how strong they are. Um, if it's under like 100 when he faces them, especially a lefty facing a righty, because so often you'll see, I mean, a lefty, uh, yeah, a lefty facing a righty. So often you'll see pitching changes to make them go lefty, lefty. So it's very seldom they probably face right handers. They either probably get pounded or they're really strong against them because they don't face them that much. You know, if you only face 30 lefties and you're a righty all year, you know, five hits is, you know, one 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 eighty. But ten, let's say ten hits, then it's three thirty three is a batting average. You can better believe that number against uh, 
lefties, if you're a right-handed pitcher, it's going to be a low number. But if you don't face them often and you're able to get work work around it, you know, get a ground ball here and there, each time you get an out, that number goes up. And uh, that's what they based it on for the year. And that's what it was based on on 2018. So that's why um, – whatever number is given to the pitcher is given to them for that season. And that's the way that works. And then it's only based on the yellow ones. If it's in the white, you don't have to check. You don't have to check anything. That's a hit. That's a straight up hit. So it's, it's often as we check it, there's still a lot of times we don't. So, you know, do you want to make your lineup? around a lefty or a righty or somebody stronger once in a while? Sure. Sure you do. But major leagues, they do it. You know, um, you know, if, if uh, anytime you used to see Nolan Ryan pitch, they used to throw as many left-handed batters against Nolan Ryan as possible. Now they're coming around um, teams like the A's uh, and some other teams too are coming around to the thought that some of these pitchers are so used, you know, they're in, they're just in, you know, used to throw a right hand, right hand, used to throw into a left hander that they learn how to do it, that they don't, they don't get very comfortable now facing right handers. I, I don't know whether to believe it or not, but there, there are teams out there that actually believe that, once a pitcher starts getting used to something, you better switch it up. That way it makes him uncomfortable. Not so much helps your batter, but it makes the pitcher uncomfortable. Um, the A's, A's are known for doing stuff like that. Um, you know, they, they've used Bill James's formulas for 30 years. And they've worked by, you know, they've run by that. And they, and they or 25 years, anyways, from Bill James's stuff. And in cases, some cases they work. Not in all cases, I'll admit that. Not in all cases at all. But you look at their payroll over the last 20 years and look at the Padres. Look at, uh, look at some of the other teams with low, low payroll. If you really want to look at teams that have been very successful, the A's, the Rays, you can't do it any better than that. The Orioles don't pay, and, and they have no clue. Padres in the past have, haven't paid. They haven't had a clue. Um, there, there's a lot of teams out there just not willing to open their pocketbooks. The Pirates, they haven't had a clue. But there are teams out there that don't spend the most money in the world and really really have a lot of success. So take a look at it. Take a look at some of the teams when they won World Series or when they went to the playoffs and look and see where they rated how much they spent that year. And they, they look at this stuff. They look at lefty-righty split. They look at – I mean, and they take it even further. They go further. All teams look at lefty and righty splits, no doubt about that. But some take it even – to the nth degree, to the point that we want to make a pitcher feel uncomfortable, and he's a lefty, so let's put a lefty up in the box, make him, you know, where he can't throw the sweeping curveball that he wants to throw every time. You know, it's 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 getting to the point where it's a mind game, which turns to a mind game, which turns back into another mind game, and and you know, it, it's pretty pretty interesting if you think about it. Um, that's pretty, pretty much it for splits here on NPNG plus, um, some pitchers probably get bigger numbers than they should, but in the end, they still end up giving probably as many hits up, maybe not as many, but they still give up some big hits. Um, it, it just, a lot of times you just got to say to hell with it. If you're, if you're making your lineup and just say, guess what? I'm putting my best nine up against his best nine and, and roll with it and, you know, see which way it rolls. Okay. Till I see you again. My name's Rob. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. Um, I'm um, 
We may have a uh, game this afternoon. I don't know yet. We'll see what's happening. I'll check with G-Puck about it. If we do, roughly 4, 4.15, something like that. Until I, until I see you again, my name's Rob once again. And God bless. Be safe. Use your head. Do everything in your power to, to stay safe, okay? God bless and have a great day.